What's up everybody, it's Kyle, back with another patella tendon rupture video. I am the world's number one expert on patella tendon ruptures. So, what I want to show you today is how to start working on single-legged hip extension once you get the brace off. A huge part of your recovery of patella tendon rupture is going to be getting your posterior chain strong, your hamstrings, boots, and lower back. So what this would look like, and let me remind you in case you haven't seen some of the other videos, I'm not a doctor, but I recommend you get that brace off within the first three weeks, transition over to a blue reband to knee sleeve. Listen, if you're gonna get injured again on the same leg and it's gonna tear, the brace isn't gonna prevent that anyway, all right? So, with a anterior reach, so this is something you would progress to doing, it's a single-legged deadlift pattern, you progress to doing with weight as time goes on. But you can use something like a foam roller to kind of balance on. So let's say it was my right leg that was injured. I would have this on my right side. Hand is kind of there to use it if I need to. I keep my right leg soft. You don't want it locked out. I keep it soft. On here, I would reach down. I'm bringing the back leg back. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Multiple benefits to doing this for your rehab going to build up the strength, going to build up the uh, proprioception, the balance. You got to remember your tendon sends sensory uh, nerve signals to the nervous system for balance and power production. So definitely try to add these in, post any questions below, and I'll be happy to help you any way you can. If you want to purchase the manual that's helped over 300 people at this point, the link is in the info box.